Hey, it's your boy Bobby Beast here speaking on something I want to talk about. Look, I'm a very big wrestling fan. I, you know, I watch my WWE, I watch my Impact, I watch my, you know, a little bit of ROH, a little bit of um, New Japan Wrestling. That's me, big WCW Mark II. Uh, but right now, the subject matter I want to talk about is the fact that Roman Reigns has headlined three WrestleManias in a row. So we're going to get into it. First off, we're going to start with WrestleMania 31. And 31, it was all the hype, uh, but we really hurt Roman. Roman had a pretty good ride. Fans was backing him, man. I mean, they really wanted to see him rise, but they sacrificed Daniel Bryan's position in order to get Roman over. WWE really did Daniel wrong, and Daniel was probably like the most over guy in the generation of the company. I'm like, why would you even do that? But I guess their vision for Roman was so, they wanted it to happen so early that they just, you know, pulled the gun on him and they pulled the gun on him a little too early. I'm not saying Roman's not great. I mean, I'm a Roman's Reign fan to some degree, but what I'm trying to say is that at the end of the day, they sacrificed Daniel Bryan. Now, when they did that to Daniel, that made people absolutely hate Roman. Um, and it's not that Roman's a bad guy. It's more like, okay, because WWE did this to Daniel in favor of Roman, we are going to hate Roman. And so it just started off like that with this hate Roman, you know, army. Uh, it's just coming and coming and coming. So going into WrestleMania 31, it was Brock Lesnar versus Roman Reigns in a anticipated, even though we everyone was angry, it was an anticipated battle. It was actually pretty decent. It was pretty cool. Uh, Brock pretty much destroyed Roman for the entire match. Uh, but, you know, Brock came out bloody. And it's not because Roman was kicking his ass. It was more like because the armor was cutting his face. Roman did has a few good shots in there. But this is a story, man. And you, and you know what happened. Pretty much, Seth Rollins come out, cash in. The money in the bank, the first time ever done at the main event of WrestleMania. Probably the only time. But I want to say it's going to happen against him down the line. Just way down the line. And he pretty much crushed Roman's dreams. Uh, curb stomps him. Take the title win. And that's pretty much it. Uh, that's the first WrestleMania main event for Roman Reigns. Now, 32. 32 is absolutely, I'm, I'm going to be honest, 32 is one, one of the worst WrestleManias ever. And I'm not going to lie, uh, the main event was no better. At, at best, the, the main event felt like a raw main event. Like and Triple H and Roman did the best they could you know, to sell that on us, that they hated each other. And at first, like towards the end of the year, when Roman beat the living hell out of Triple H, I, I was like, man, I love that. But the thing was, was that eventually Triple H came back, you know, returned in favor to Roman, talking about he needed facial surgery for what Triple H did to him and all that mess. And then they started going back and forth. They did everything they could to hype that main event. But it was like, ah, oh, god dang, I just don't like it. So, you know, at the end of the day, this is Roman's second main event, which he, you know, he headlined. And he won. Uh, of course, fans booed him out of the arena, though. But, I mean, hey, it is what it is. Now... Third one. This one is probably really the best one, the one that people cares about the most, and the reason why is because it's telling a story. Uh, even though people hate the hell out of Roman Reigns, at the end of the day, one thing you can't take away from the guy is the guy knows how to perform in the ring. He he does have classic matches with people like uh, even Big Show, uh, AJ Styles, and Daniel Bryan as well. I mean, like, and he he's put on some some good clinics, man. He's got some great shows out there. He's, he has quite a collection. But out of all the matches, this one will probably be one of the most, if not the most important match of his career. Is because this is the one where he retires The Undertaker. Now, at first, this was not supposed to be the main event of WrestleMania 33. It was supposed to be Brock Lesnar versus Bill Goldberg. But after um, the growth and interest was for Roman and Undertaker, I guess they did a smart decision, which they did. And they ended the show with Roman Reigns and Undertaker. Now, at this point in time, I would say... I definitely agree with this. Um, this match is a little different. It's not the best match in the world, but it tells a story. It's, it's, it's about pretty much the aging dead man taking on the young gun. And it's like, okay, I still got the fight left in me. The Undertaker's telling a story with his body, with his pain, and even to a point, his performances, especially with that shot where him and Roman were attempting to do um, the tombstone, Roman doing the tombstone on him, but it just didn't happen. It was because of the pain in Undertaker's hips. So it just got to the point, even towards the end, where Roman was like, look, I don't want to pull the trigger. You're going to make me do this. And he's like, you know, no, you ain't got the balls to do it. And Roman pretty much took him down. Now, that is probably like the best main event Roman's ever been in, and it's three in a row. If you're going to end the trilogy and he's not going to be in the uh, the next main event then that's the best one to pull the trigger with beating the undertaker that way and continuing on but rumor has it is that next year it's going to be Brock Lesnar versus Roman Reigns the two only the, the only two men to ever defeat the undertaker and uh ever in terms of Wrestlemania are going to headline the next Wrestlemania so hey Roman's going to get four in a row and we'll just see how that has to go but much love much respect to everybody just want to say this is Bobby Beast holding it now and one